Hi Leo, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. Let's go ahead and take a look. My wonderful Leos, hi, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. Let's go ahead and take a look at your energy reading. I'm gonna switch things up today. Oh, this one just popped right into my hand. I did a meditation uh, prior to this uh, shuffle. I always pre-shuffle the cards and then I shuffle them again to see if there's any jumpers like this one. But through my um, meditation, Leo, I was inspired to do a um, different type of reading. We're going to look at your focus energies for the beginning of the month, mid and end. So let's see what these focus energies are and how they can benefit you taking a look at um, the individual focus cards. So the first one that's popping up, we're looking at the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords expands on, um, for you, the, the words like doubt, um, worriness, insecurities, or also not knowing the answers uh, is popping in. So let's see what other clarifying messages you need to know. Now this is just showing here in the beginning, okay? This is your beginning energy, Leo, for the beginning of January, 2023. We'll get clarifiers for this, and then we're gonna pull um, other cards as we look at mid-January and then the end of January. So the beginning of January, let's get clarifiers on here. I hope your new year's off to a good start. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Just as I thought. <laughs> All right, so what we're seeing here in the beginning of the month, Leo, a lot of you are going to be um, searching for, it's almost like searching for answers, but I wanna say you're looking for a new approach. There is this energy of searching for a new strategy, possibly searching for um, a new way to increase your health, okay? The cup energy does represent health and also happiness. So the, um, the Eight of Swords, what I also see here is that a lot of you are breaking through maybe mental, um, mental challenges that you may have endured, like stress, or just negativity, maybe just being down, um, just not being in the right mind, or also this taps into unmotivated. But I see here in the beginning of the month, a lot of you may be doing some type of research, okay? Studying, studying the ways, studying the path, um, doing something that you haven't done differently, or uh, that you haven't done before, but you're open to do something differently, is what I was trying to say. The moon comes up very strong. I wouldn't doubt if some of you Leos have a Pisces in your uh, path, or you may be coming across a, a Pisces or a water sign if some of you are looking for love or for new love. So we do see here that if you are struggling to see a solution or to come across an answer to your problem, uh, the hermit is popping up as your focus energy supporting the eight of swords, showing that you will come across the answers. Leo. Okay. Seek and you shall find. Now, the thing is, sometimes you have to go down a road to find what you're looking for, a dark road, the off beaten path, um, some, somewhere unexplored. It also may lead you to something that you may be slightly uncomfortable with because you're not familiar with it. So, uh, keep that in mind here, Leo, for your, for your beginning energy. Okay, so I don't know. Do you want to focus on it? We'll just leave it like that. I'm going to also pull your oracle messages before we finish up here. Jeez, these just kind of popped up. The Queen of Cups is coming in as your mid-month energy. We have five of wands. We're looking at six of cups. Let's see if we can get one more here. For Leo, Leo, January, 2023, energy reading. Okay. And then we have the king of pentacles. So queen of 
cups. Now for here, I see that mid month, your focus energy is to be at peace or to, um, the word contentment came in, but more like this energy of being at peace here. Hmm. Now what I do see is that efficient planning may benefit you because you know, the queen of cups, she looks very at ease, very calm. Her water is not turbulent. You know, it's very still, there's like still water here. So for you, Leo, I do see that uh, with your cup energy, some of you may be grasping a, a, an interest or a passion that puts you at ease mid month. Uh, what could also benefit you is that you may be planning. Okay. Because again, that cup is uh, tapping very strong into your heart space. I do see some of you making plans to possibly be, um, close to water or you're planning uh, something with like a loved one, a loved one, a partner. Um, there's discussions here. There's talks as we look at the six of cups. Okay. And I see here with the five of wands. So there's like a partnership or like some type of strategy being discussed on how to work something out, how to make something come together. Um, maybe how to make some plans. Okay. Like you're laying out the plans for something that you want in um, the upcoming uh, near months. I'd say like two to three months coming in here because the queen, I'm sorry, the king of pentacles, he's showing long-term, um, like not only investments, but strategy. Okay. Like a, a plan, the king of pentacles, he only invests in things that have like a return on his investment. So being that he's facing these energies here, um, and also supporting the queen of cups, this shows for some of you Leos that you're looking to, or actually your focus energy for mid January would be to, you know, plan, plan, strategize, um, think, you know, two or three steps ahead, uh, to alleviate confusion or stress. Hmm. Also when it comes to love for those that are single or for those that are looking for new love, um, I see here with the queen of cups, some of you are putting yourself first. We see here mid January, that's going to be of high importance. Like treat yourself, you know, like you would a queen. Okay. Uh, very softly, gently, um, delicately in a respectable way right? You wouldn't speak too harshly to a queen. You wouldn't treat her poorly. So I see here a lot of Leos, you are, you know, asking others for like respect or to respect you through your body language, through your actions, through your words, through your communication, and also for yourself, the way you are treating yourself. I see here, you are putting yourself like on a pedestal, like not in an egotistical way, but in a way that you realize you, you matter, Leo, you are important. Your health is important. Your uh, mental well being is important. Your spiritual, uh, you know, um, inner self is important. Hmm. Very interesting here. You know, the, the five of wands is sh also showing like activity, being active in fitness. So I do see that some of you may be returning back to that. For some of you, maybe like um, working out or working on your physical health is like your happy place. And as we look at the King of Pentacles, again, he's looking at long-term investments. So some of you are looking to stick to this like long-term. You're wanting to commit to some type of physical activity or um, a craft or a hobby that you know will benefit you in the long run. So let's take a look at your end of month here, Leo, for... January. Okay. Let's see for January. Hmm. Let's see your end of month energy. We have the Knight of pentacles coming in here. Let's take a look at your supporting energies. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So we have the devil coming in. We have the tower. Okay. Now this is interesting. Let's see what this is all about before I pull your Oracle cards. Ooh, and we have the magician. Okay. Leo, this is an important lesson here. 
Let me shift these cards so you can see them. Because these are your clarifiers. So your focus energy for the end of January is the Knight of Pentacles. So the beginning, we had Eight of Swords. Mid, we have Queen of Cups. And then the end of January, we have Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is representing remaining faithful, okay? S s sticking to a dedicated mission or path, making sure that you are committed to a purpose. Um, now, what's interesting is that we see that there are some distractions that you may be faced with, okay? Uh, distractions or temptations to sway off course, to be thrown off course, um, to possibly consider pursuing other options that you weren't originally intending on doing. And with the devil and the tower, it's interesting because we see here that the tower shows that you need to be prepared for the unforeseen situations. Okay. Sometimes we can make plans. You know how that expression goes, we make plans and God laughs at them. It's showing here that sometimes we can make plans for the route that we want to stay on, for the goals that we want to achieve, or for how our life is meant to, um, you know, play out here. But the tower is saying, you can, you can plan, you know, a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. Let me know if you guys know what that, where that song's from. <laughs> One of my favorite phase, uh, uh, phrases, but yes, you can plan a picnic, an outing, a party, but you can't predict the weather. You may be able to see that it's going to rain, but you don't know when thunder or lightning or where it's going to strike exactly. So be prepared for temptations to possibly come your way. Now, these temptations, they can be external. Uh, however, it could be you. It could be your own mind. It could, you know, interesting here, as we see the eight of swords, some of you, it may be yourself, your, your, your habits holding you back from being your fullest potential or for going further in life. Okay. Or in your mission, the tower is saying that external factors you can't control. Now, the beautiful thing about the tower, okay. In this situation here, Leo, it shows though, even though that there is some type of rejection, okay. You being rejected out of this tower, you being um, thrown out, it's inspiration for a redirection. So you may not have predicted that something was going to go wrong. Something was going to go bad in your eyes. Uh, there may be some chaos, you know, a curveball thrown in, as I say, a curveball. But this here may be the opener to transform. Okay. To change, change of plans, change your course. It could also, you know, change the path of where you thought was your destined, um, destination. The magician leaves room for, for flexibility. If you think about it, the, the magician's powers, he works with alchemy. He works with different resources. He kind of tinkers on, um, you know, different supplies and different intentions to get the end results. So here, sometimes if we want bigger or better, we have to be open. We have to be open to, um, the mysteries, I would say to, to life. We have to be open to experience things that maybe we were afraid of because they didn't seem, you know, the safe route, so to speak. But the tower is thrown in to show you that sometimes, Leo, what you think you want or what you think is the best option could be better. Okay. Now there's also not to be confused with the devil energy because the devil energy, sometimes other people think they know what's best for you, or sometimes other people are, are in your ear, or maybe the ego gets in your ear and tries to throw you off course. So you have to use, you know, um, your, your best judgment, your intuition, and think about what's best for you overall. So let's take a look at your Oracle energy as we, um, look at January for Leo Let's see. Ooh, don't let your past hold you back. 
I think that's so interesting as we saw that here with your opening energy, the Eight of Swords. And then um, the Six of Cups too, it does tap into past relationships, past experience and memories. Uh, some of you may be fighting through that, uh, trying to let it go, but it keeps resurfacing. Um, but you know, in order to move on, to heal, you can't cling on to you know, the shoulda, woulda, couldas. You have to, again, like this Knight of Pentacles, you have to keep going. Do not give up. Do not slow down. Do not um, allow people to, or situations to throw you off course and that be an excuse to quit completely. Because what I see here with the magician is that you can, um, you know, it's like you can turn, you know, lemons into like lemonade or you can turn lemons into like lemon pie <laughs> or, um, you know, lemon pound cake. So here you're going to make the, the best of your situation. Wow. Leo, this is all you right here. The strength card. I mean, this is you representing <laughs> this energy. So I feel like January is your, one of your, your important months of this year. This is going to be a big one that you'll be able to look back and, um, reflect on one that you may even see that could be life-changing as the magician is showing very powerful. Um, you know, as we opened up here with the eight of swords, we close here with the magician. So that leads me to believe that you are changing and shifting by the end of this month here, your energy is going to be different. I see there's confidence. Like some of you are going to be so confident in your craft. Uh, some of you are going to be so confident in your mental space. And a lot of you are going to realize that you have the capacity to achieve whatever you set your mind to, regardless of what is thrown at you. So don't try to fit yourself in a box, Leo, or in a tower, so to speak, because you're, you're not limited to just this confined um, space. You are bigger than that, okay? You are meant to um, be roam free. You are meant to be seen and be heard as we see here with the Leo card, with the bright sun. So I'm excited to see your other readings. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more. And as always, if you are my true MVV, my most valuable viewer, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And until then, stay well and be blessed.